In this video, we will see some Google Chrome extensions which you might not have heard of or seen. Chrome extensions are a great way to improve your overall browsing experience with additional features. Let's get started. Dark Reader Dark Reader is one of my favorite open source extension which switch the colors and enable a dark mode theme for the website you visit. It enables a dark color scheme to any website so that you can enjoy browsing your favorite websites and making them easier to read especially at night or in the dark. For example, if you are at this website with a lot of white colors in it, Dark Reader extension icon provides you an option to turn the dark mode on or off for that respective open website. Let's turn it on. So you can see the color scheme changes from bright to dark on this website which is so pleasant to look and it gives an awesome dark mode theme. There are some filters below if you need to modify any settings. So let's say if you select this light option, it will switch the open website from dark to less bright as compared to the normal website. To turn dark mode on, switch it back to the dark here. You can also choose brightness, contrast, sepia, grayscale, and you can also adjust the levels as per your requirements. If you wish, then you can also donate here and can contribute to the developer also. So next is for the cookies banners that pops up in front of you in many websites and ask to accept before using the site. I don't care about cookies extension will remove those pop-ups to accept before using on almost all the websites. Due to EU regulation and increased awareness of online privacy, every website must get users permission before installing tracking cookies. If you surf anonymously or if you delete cookies automatically every time, close the browser, websites will ask for that permission again and again and it will soon become very irritating to click the same I agree or accept buttons. So you just need to install the extension and you are done. Nothing else is required, just simple as that. When you are on a web page reading an article or surfing any website and you need to make a copy of that page, but when you try to take the screenshot, then only the captured area is saved but not the entire page. So what's the solution for this? The Go Full Page extension comes in use as it captures the screenshot of your current entire page, not only the selected portion. So it takes a full page screenshot of your current browser window. So just click on this option and you will see that it will capture the entire current page in a single image which you can keep for your further use. So as you can see that this page is captured full and to see just click on it. From top to bottom, it is properly captured and you can use it as per your convenience. Many times when you have faced issue with your browser not working properly, then you always have deleted your history, your cache and your cookies, right? So instead of deleting from history here, downloads from here or clear browsing data from here each time, just click on the clean master extension, select the time period of your choice and hit clean. One click cleans your browser cache and thrash, protects your privacy and makes your browser faster and productive. Under advanced option, you can use the type of data you want to remove as per your choice or just use the default recommendations. There are many websites where you are reading any article and mostly will be cluttered, mix of different things on one page. So the Mercury Reader extension for Chrome removes ads and distractions leaving only text and images for a clean and consistent reading view on every website instantly. So as soon as you click on this extension, the article will get structured in a neat and tidy way which you can read easily, removing all the ads and clutter which was there previously. You can click this settings option where you can adjust the text size, typography and can change the themes from light to dark as per your requirement, making your reading experience awesome. This extension is for Wikipedia. Using this extension, you will get clean layout for optimal readability, modern typography, fixed table of contents, larger photos and better media gallery. So if you are on this page and you can see that it is not so much organized and seems outdated. And the content is not laid off so well, so finding the information you are looking from this page will be difficult. Table of content is also nowhere thus making the page look unorganized. So this extension comes handy which specially work for Wikipedia. You just need to enable the extension which will optimize the page you have opened with the new layout and look. 
you can see that how good the page layout is now and on the left side you can see the fixed table of content in an organized manner it is now a lot easier to look and navigate the page go to the settings option where you can also change the font used switch between the light and dark mode size of the text and width of the layout it is very helpful for the students who work on their projects and wikipedia is mostly used for such legit resources to code them it simplify your research process focus on productivity don't waste time on keeping track of resources copying and pasting and making citations let's say you are on this article and you want to highlight few different lines from the page for your future reference then viva highlighter extension is very useful so when you have selected the lines then it will show a small window with different colors you can choose any of them and as you select one of them you will see that the selected lines are now highlighted with that color so now these lines are permanently highlighted even if you go back and come back again to the same website next day you will find the lines highlighted superb extension for the students to keep notes so if you have a system that is being used by multiple users and they don't want to use all but some specific extensions for their activities then there is an extension called extensity which is handy for such situations so as you click on this extension you will see all different other extensions inside this window in a compiled manner which is easy to use you will see that some extensions are enabled and some are grayed out which are as per the requirement thus saving your system resources like cpu usage also you can create profiles also if there are other people using the system go to the settings option and select profiles now give the profile name let's say geek click on the plus icon which will open all extensions to enable or disable as per your requirement Let us enable Google Doc offline and Mercury Reader and I will uncheck go full page extension. Click on save and close. So now you can see a profile with name geek is created. Go full page extension is disabled and rest others are on. So whoever is using the system can select their respective profiles on a single click and extensions will be on by default. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for some more informative videos. Thank you and have a nice day.